We're making some good wood ash to put in the garden. Hey everybody, this is Kevin with Living Traditions Homestead. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today, we are finally getting around to burning the big brush piles that we created when we cleared out the area where we're gonna raise our pigs this spring. Um, we did a video a few months ago, or about a month ago, uh, on how to take full advantage of winter. Uh, I'll put a link to that up here. Um, and during that video, we cleared a bunch of land that we're gonna raise our pigs on this spring. And what happened is we cut down a lot of little cedar trees while we were doing that. All the smoke's coming right at me now. Uh, so we ended up with these big brush piles that we put out into our pasture. And today is a good uh, day to burn them up because there's very little wind. Uh, it's actually only in the 20s outside, but because we have such big fires going, I don't really even need a coat on. So um, we're going to uh, get all four piles burned up. We've got two pretty much done already, and we're going to bring you guys along for the second two. Now, when we did the first video, we got a lot of comments and a lot of suggestions about what we should do with these brush piles. A lot of people said we should, uh, we should run them through a wood chipper, uh, which we do have a wood chipper, uh, but it can only take about three inch branches. And honestly, guys, this is very impractical. This would take me the rest of my life to run these piles through uh, that wood chipper. Um, and it's just not cost effective to go out and rent an industrial size wood chipper um, when in all honesty, our small town near us has a humongous pile of uh, chipped up trees and stuff from the road department. And we can go get those anytime we want, as many as we want for free. So the best option for us is to burn these piles um, and then use the ash as an amendment to our gardens. Um, that way we're not wasting it, uh, but we're not having to deal with this big quantity of material. Uh, we're also not wasting any money. Um, so we're gonna get started on the second two piles, uh, but we're also gonna do something else while we're out here. We don't wanna have to go in and leave these fires unattended. So we're gonna be cooking our lunch out here on some of the coals while we uh, finish up the second two piles. I've got a rabbit in here with some potatoes and onions and some sauce. And we're just going to throw this on one of the piles that's sitting here uh, while we burn down the next one. And by the time that's done, so should our lunch. So we're going to get started and we'll show you guys uh, how we have a bonfire hillbilly style. I don't know if you guys have ever cooked with a camp stove before, uh, but it's just a cast iron pot. Uh, what I've done is I've just set it on a nice bed of coals so there's coals underneath. And then I put some coals on top so it cooks from all the way around. Uh, you can get all fancy and calculate how many coals if you're using like charcoal briquettes and stuff like that. Uh, when we're doing it out like this, we just kind of guess. Uh, I'll just come over and turn it every once in a while so the stuff inside gets done uh, nice and evenly. And you know what? Well, however it turns out, that's how we'll eat it and it'll be delicious. So this is the next pile that we're going to burn. Uh, we're gonna actually what I'm going to do is go get the tractor We're gonna push it over on top of this pile uh, that we already burned uh, This pile was actually bigger than this. So this is the beauty of burning and you end up with a tiny little pile of ash Instead of you know these humongous brush piles. So uh, we're going to uh, just push this over I'm gonna try to push it right on top of there I'm not sure if it'll light on its own or if we're gonna have to light it, uh, but we're gonna get this thing burning So our main concern is just making sure it doesn't spread too much on the ground, in the dry grass, and then just kind of keeping an eye out for flying uh, particles to make sure nothing goes back in the woods. But it's 
I'm not really too worried about that. It, it should, this should be fine and we'll let it burn into a small pile. This makes it go from a cold day to a warm day real fast. I can't imagine doing this when it's actually hot outside. I just looked and it's 29 degrees out and I'm about ready to get down to just my t-shirt. Alright, looks like lunch is about ready. Let's take a look. Look at that. Yum. That's gonna be some good eating while we're out here working. Again, it's a rabbit with potatoes and onions. Doesn't get any better than that, especially since we raised all of it right here. So we're just about done for the day. Uh, it was really a good day working outside. Uh, a beautiful sunny day, a little bit chilly, but around the fire, it was great. Uh, we had a good lunch, uh, we got a lot of work done, and you can see behind me, this is what's left of one of the piles. Now we, ended, we had four piles, all that were about, well, about the size of a car. I mean, each pile was about the size of a car, so, I mean, they were decent sized piles. This is what's left of one of them. Let's go over and take a look at the other one, and I'll show you what's left over there. All right, so this is what's left of this pile. Now we actually used this spot to burn three of those big piles. Um, and you can see that this is what's left. Now we're gonna just let this smolder. It'll smolder the rest of the day, maybe throughout the night. Uh, we'll come check on it every once in a while, but for the most part, it'll just sit here smoldering until it's all the way burned down. You know, this was really a great solution uh, for us on how to get rid of uh, this much brush. Uh, again, you know, putting that much through uh, a chipper uh, really is not very practical. Uh, we have a decent sized chipper, but again, uh, even a decent sized chipper um, isn't, it takes a long time. And, you know, we just can't afford a commercial chipper, which, you know, are thousands and thousands of dollars. So uh, this was the best solution for us. Uh, when we first moved here out to the country, uh, we were pretty afraid of burning things uh, when you spend a lot of time in the city Especially in the Phoenix area where it's dry all the time you kind of get leery of burning things But we've learned a lot from the uh, locals here um, that you know They do a lot of burning and it is a good way to uh, get rid of waste when I say waste I'm talking about yard waste. I'm talking about sticks and branches and leaves and that type of thing uh, We don't burn our garbage on the homestead uh, we do burn some of our like cardboard and paper and things, but we don't burn uh, garbage like plastics and you know old tires and that type of thing. Uh, we don't promote that. We don't think it's good for the environment. Uh, but uh, burning yard waste and paper products uh, is a good solution when you live out in the country. Uh, when this is all done, we'll use this ash in the garden, so there really won't be any waste, and it'll just uh, be a good solution for us. You guys, if this is your first time uh, visiting our channel, don't forget to uh, subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to share and comment as well. And until next time, thanks for stopping by the homestead, and God bless.